Hello guys and welcome back to the game part. In this video I will show you how much gold I made this week and best outdoor transmog farms. I know that most of you don't really like transmog farms but if you want to become a real pro in gold farming you should do transmog farms. Just do them for a few hours a week, get as many good transmog items as possible and then just repose them on the auction house. This will give you a huge amount of passive gold income. If you have a hard time to find a group for transmog farms, join my Discord server and let's farm together. My goal is to have more than 1000 different transmogs on the auction house. When I get 1000 transmogs on the auction house, I will keep reposting them every day. This will bring me lots of passive income without even farming transmogs anymore, at least for some time. When I sell for example 100 of my transmogs, I will farm more of them to keep them above 1000 different transmogs on the auction house. I will make this mailbox opening every Monday at the start of the video and I will keep this part as short as possible and I hope you will like it. And now let's see what I got from mailbox. First I will track my priest, I post transmog items on this tune and I started posting uh, and farming transmogs 5 days ago. Let's see what I managed to sell in those 5 days of farming and posting on the auction house. I have around 400 different transmogs so far on the auction house and for now I sold 8 transmogs and I made more than 30,000 gold. It's not too much but I still don't have enough transmogs posted on the auction house and just a few days ago I had like only 50 transmogs on the auction house. This week I made 30. 1000 gold from transmogs and we will see how much gold I will make next week. And now let's see how much gold I made from other things like BOEs, crafting items, mounts and similar things. On this character I post everything like crafted items, mounts, BOEs and materials. I sold more than uh, 100 options and for first 100 mails I made more than 400,000 gold. As you can see in the video, I sold lots of soul dusts, I sold boots from uh, BOE and boots farm in Ravengrath, I sold uh, encrypted wildlife text from Silitus Transmog farm, I sold uh, legendary items, I sold crafted uh, gear from tailoring, and uh, you can see that I sold a uh, few of Alani mounts from Sky Shard farm. Of course, I sell uh, primal fire and other primal materials. I sold a uh, few uh, BOEs, but I have a hard time of selling BOEs these days. I sold lots of bags this week and some enchants too. And now let's see how much gold I made in total. I sold few boots with uh, plus speed from Ravengrad Boots Farm for 20 and 30,000 gold each. And I want to mention that I took some gold from Mailbox from sold auctions to buy Penumbra Thread for Soul Dust Shop. As you can see I made 550,000 gold this week from many different sources and I recommend you to do them all if that is possible. And in this video I will show you best transmog farms you should do as soon as possible. If you want to support my channel don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and like this video. And of course if you want to support me even more you can become an exclusive member of the game part. Special thanks to my members for their support. And now let's see best outdoor transmog farms. Farm number 1 is Darkshore Murloc farm. This farm is 4 man druid farm, of course you can do this farm with 5 druids, but 4 druids are more than enough. Just put some markers down in and around this excavation site and kill the murlocs. Kill them for 2 minutes and after that just loot everything. When you finish looting get back to your spot and continue with killing. I will leave a macro for this and for other farms in the description below. You can see on the screen where the members of your group should stand for this farm. I showed only 4 markers but you can put 5 if you have full group. This farm is located in Old Dark Shore, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. When you arrive to New Dark Shore just pick with Zidormi to change timeline and that's it. These Morlocks can drop lots of items from popular transmog sets. They can drop items from Barbaric set, Ceremonial set, Feral, Grunts and other. They drop some white items from Aboriginal sets, they cannot be used in transmogs now, 
but uh, they are very expensive because they look pretty nice so give them a try farm number two is lands and beach this farm is five man druid farm and members of farming group should stay on their markers and spam marker for two minutes after two minutes just loot everything when you finish with looting get back to your spot and repeat with this farm you can get lots of interesting transmog items you can get items from jade set symbolic set and other cool looking sets this farm is located in Tanaris, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. Farm number 3 is Saltstone Cave. This farm is 5 man druid farm and you can do it with other classes too but druids are much faster and more efficient. Just run around inside this cave, kill the mobs and loot them. If you have group of 5 people or at least 4 people and when you start killing these mobs in this cave, they will hyper spawn. I recommend you to buy bear tartar and eat it before you start farming. This food will give you buff to run much faster when you kill the mob. This will help you a lot in this farm. This farm is located in 1000 needles, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. With this farm you will get items from saltstone set and of course you will get many other green items and you can get some very expensive patterns too. Many items from this farm are very popular for transmogs. That's why this farm is one of the best transmog farms. Farm number 4 is Blackrock Stronghold Farm. This is 4 man druid farm and of course you can do this farm with 5 people and with other classes too. But druids are the best and 4 people are enough. Of course if you have 5 druids that's even better. 4 members of your group should stand on their markers and one should run around and kill the rest. You can see on the screen where the members of group should stand. This farm can be done in two ways, you can kill the mobs for 2 minutes and then loot and repeat that or you can kill the mobs for 20 minutes and then loot. If you want to farm rare and epic items uh, then you should kill for 20 minutes and then loot. Rare and epic items stay on the body for 30 minutes so with this method you will kill more mobs and have a higher chance for good loot. This farm is located in Burnix Tips, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. With this farm you can get amazing epic items like Skull Flame Shield and you can get items from Ebon Hall set. Farm number 5 is Vineshear Mine Farm. This is 5 druid farm, I mean you can do it with other classes but druids are the best for sure. This farm is located in Stone Teller Mountain, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. This farm is similar to the Saltstone Cave farm, just run around, kill the mobs inside this mine and loot them. The faster you kill them, the faster they will respawn. With this farm, you will get items from Sanguine and Slayer sets. Uh, of course, you will get lots of other amazing green transmogs. Last time I farmed this place, and it was a few days ago, I got almost 1 million gold worth items in 1 hour farming. Of course, don't forget to bring Bear Tartar and eat it before you start farming for speed buff. Farm number 6 is Silitus Farm. This is probably the most popular outdoor transport farm. This is 5 man druid farm and the best way to farm this place is to have 5 druids group. Just run around, kill the mobs and loot them. This farm got a huge variety of greens. You can get lots of items from amazing sets like Glorious set, Jade set, Vanguard set and others. And you can get expensive epic items like Skull Flame Shield, Blade of Hana and Tibu's Longsword. This farm is located in Old Silitus, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. If you are in New Silitus, just speak with Zidormi to change your timeline. Farm number 7 is Lost Rigor Co. This farm is 5 man druid farm, just spawn macro for 2 minutes, kill the mobs around and then loot. You can do this farm with uh, just running around killing and looting. But if you decide to stand on your mark and kill for 2 minutes and then loot, members of your group should stand on these markers. With this farm you can get Jade and Saltstone's items and you can get an epic weapon called Weird's Third Leg. Usually these transmog items are very expensive. This farm is located in Tanaris, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. Thank you guys for watching, a special thanks to my members for their support. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and like this video. And of course, if you want to support me even more, you can become an exclusive member of the game part. Thank you once again, good luck farming and see you in the next video.